Hey guys, this is Key from Echo Ceramics and I'd like to show you how to make a cylinder. So at this point you guys should already know how to center a clay and know how to do the basic things. So I'm going to go ahead and cone up and down three times, maybe four. And coning down, that's one. Here's my second cone up. And when you cone down, try to pivot forward so that the clay is leaning away from you and then use your right hand to support the side. I'm using Coleman Porcelain by Arvard Clay. And that's my third. And try to limit doing anything more than three times. You could do as many as four, but I would really encourage you to not do more than four times. So for example, here's my fourth. And last and final cone down. And to make a cylinder, you want to make sure that you just make the cylinder roughly about three inches in diameter, three and a half at the most. So I'm going to go ahead and drill down and open the base. I'm using my thumb over my right hand finger, in case you're wondering. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to my index finger and middle finger. And since I'm not going to put a tall foot on this guy, I'm going to go ahead and only leave about three, well, one and a quarter of an inch of a base compressing the bottom and I generally like to use my middle finger to compress I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it since I'm making a cylinder even drop the water is really important make sure it's evenly lubricated at this point you want to slow the wheel speed down just a tiny bit my first pull is what I often refer to as a setup pull Meaning that I just want to even it out from bottom to top so that the section of the clay looks, looks a lot like my palm where it's thick at the bottom and gradually thinner. Second and third pull is where you really get the height. So once I have my setup pull, I'm going to go ahead and lubricate it evenly. I'm going to press in with my right hand. I'm going to support it from the interior. And that bulge there is my inside finger. I'm going to follow that up slow and steady making sure your throwing lines are nice parallel lines to one another and you may notice or not but as I come up I'm gonna go ahead and make the opening a little smaller each time I pull so my cylinder when I'm pulling looks a lot like a chimney of a nuclear power plant so here's my third pull I'm gonna push all that excess clay in at the bottom to utilize that so I could get height and you are going to get some loose clay in your right hand. That's perfectly normal. Again, nice and steady, even parallel lines. Always examine your throwing lines. At the top, take your time, meaning your hand movement should be slower. So at this point, it would be a really good idea to examine your throwing lines. So throwing lines should be smaller at the bottom and gradually evenly paced out and then you should have a smaller throwing lines at the top. So I'm going to do my last and final pull. At this point it's more of a finishing pull or a touch up pull as I like to call it. So I'm just going to squeeze, pull, and come up lightly. And again just guiding it through. And I do tend to hold a sponge in my hand out of habit but I'm not using it. So I'm using my middle finger to extend forward as I come up. And when I reach the top, I'm going to pause and hold, 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 and release gradually. To give you guys a comparison, here's a ruler I'm going to measure. And this is just at 11 inches and 1 quarter of an inch. And my diameter roughly is at four and a quarter. So that's a pretty good size cylinder. I'm gonna go ahead and rib at this point. Ribbing is optional, but if you wanted to make this into anything like a vase or a bottle, it's really a good idea to rib. And the main purpose of ribbing here is not to remove my throwing lines or my finger marks. And not even just to smooth it out, but main idea here is to compress the wall 
So I'm able to stretch this into a really far out shape, right? So I can expand that outwards. You can use any ribs you like. You can use metal, plastic, rubber, whatever it may be. My personal favorite is this one here, which is a wooden rib by Camper Tool. I'm gonna go ahead and rib once more, and you can rib as many times you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out. And remember to breathe when you're doing this. Some people tend to hold their breath, it's completely unnecessary. And there you go, there's your cylinder. And don't forget to remove any excess water you may have. And you should always remove any excess water while the wheel's turning. Whatever you do, you always wanna do even amount if you, if you make a mistake, so that you could, it's easier to correct your mistakes if you do happen to make one. So once you have a cylinder, your options are endless. You could turn this into all kinds of vases or bottles. And check out my other videos for that. Thanks for watching.